may not be the right sound to make when talking about brownie balls, but that's what happened. Hello, beautiful people. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? What's going on? Welcome back or welcome. So today, listen, I tried to make blueberry muffins from scratch, okay? All right, keyword, try. So I am a box baker. I'm not shame, okay? I bake from the box. It's just quick, it's easy. All you gotta do is add an egg, some oil, some water, call it a day. But in Rona's 2020, all right, I have found myself buying more boxed baked goods to make for me and David. So the thought came to me, you know, maybe these boxed pre-prepped baked goods aren't the healthiest for us because it probably has a lot of extra things in them that we don't necessarily need if I made it from scratch. Make anything from scratch, you have a little more control over what's in it and how it's prepared. So I thought I would give it a go. Now I want to be very transparent with y'all. I am a novice like beginner baker. Although I feel like I have baked all of my life, but just not necessarily from scratch. I truly do enjoy baking because I have a lot more time on my hands. That love has been reignited. So let's give it a go. What I did was searched on YouTube DIY blueberry muffin and this guy's crouton cracker jacks came up. He shows you how to make these blueberry muffins. Mind you, I watched the video the day before making the muffins. So I probably hit or missed some things, but he gives great instructions. So first of all, I want to point out some of my successes before I point out my failures. Okay. My blueberries were evenly dispersed throughout each muffin. They all were not sunk to the bottom and my muffins rose. I was like sitting in front of the stove like, they rising, look, look, they rise. I was like, hey, they're rising. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited about making these muffins from scratch because I've never made blueberry muffins from scratch. It was such a fun experience. It was so fun to look in the oven to like see the progress and I was like, ooh, are they burning? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, all ovens are different, what have you. But let's get into the process of me making these muffins. So you're gonna need flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, vegetable oil, one egg, milk, white vinegar, vanilla extract, blueberries, and coarse sugar, which I didn't show. So in this recipe, he wants you to use regular milk, but I didn't, I, we don't have regular milk, I only had almond milk, but I did look online to see if you can add vinegar to almond milk, and it said you could, so I was like that. So I went ahead, added my vinegar to my almond milk, never did that in my life. Here we go, I added the flour, and this is where I messed up, y'all. I think I should have sipped the flour or use cake flour which is already sifted flour so like if I ever make this recipe again that's what I'll do okay I'm gonna add this sugar this baking powder oh and if you're curious as to where I got some of my utensils go check out that idea video y'all now make sure you keep your areas clean we clean as we go listen it's easier to clean as you go versus having this big old mess that you gotta clean up afterwards. Nobody wants to clean after they done exhilarated all this work to cook. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, Mr. Crouton Cracker Jacks, I don't know his name. He said to mix the dry ingredients and then add your wet ingredients. And you wanna coat your blueberries. And he said it's important to coat your blueberries so that they don't sink to the bottom. Okay, listen, none of my blueberries sunk, so you might wanna try it. It's just so, I don't know, baking is definitely a science and I love science and I love baking so you know there we go so once you have your blueberries coated and we're gonna add these eggs in here yeah it's crazy that I ain't had no milk but I got an egg but we normally always have almond milk on handy I don't like regular milk do y'all like regular milk let me know if y'all still drink regular milk or if y'all even like regular milk or if you're lactose intolerant I mean you gotta you don't have to share all of that because HIPAA <laughs> Anyways, so we're adding the milk, adding the vegetable oil, the vegetable oil, okay? And, you know, I think I'm doing an okay job aside from the flour. Okay, so here is, you know, the skill level. This is where that comes in. So you wanna mix your wet and dry, but you don't wanna mix too much because then he said that's like where gluten starts to form and stuff. And we don't want gluten like that in our muffins, okay? We're not trying to make bread, just trying to make muffins light and fluffy. So you mix until you get everything incorporated and once it's incorporated you leave it alone okay you want to leave it alone for 15 minutes and that's what i did i just left on the counter for 15 minutes i may have overmixed. i'm not sure but it had a nice fluff to them um they could have been fluffy 
Er. So I messed up, y'all. I thought I was recording when I was filling them up for pants, but I didn't. He said to fill them almost full. And then he said it should make eight muffins for this recipe. Uh, yeah, I overfilled some. That happens. I just scooped out and added to others that needed that. And then I just cleaned up the tops. And I added that sugar that I did not show you on the ingredients list before because, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. What you want me to do? I'm gonna add the coarse sugar that for whatever reason I have on hand, like I already had, I didn't need to buy it. It's so weird what you can find in your kitchen. I don't even remember buying the sugar. I think I might have bought it for my housewarming. I don't know. But we had it and I was like, okay, bet. So before you go to the store to buy anything, check your pantry because you just never know. Okay, if you like me, you never know. I cooked them on 450 degrees for 10 minutes and then you drop it down to 350 degrees for an additional 10 to 12 minutes, which I didn't leave mine in for the full 10 minutes because they started to burn. And we couldn't have that. Oh, and if you don't want to grease your pants with like oil, there's this Baker's Joy spray that I use. It has flour and oil. And anytime I use that, anything I cook slips out. Like I made some box brownies in my muffin pan with all liners. And guess what? I sprayed that sucker and bloop, the brownies popped out. Bloop may not be the right sound to make when talking about brownie balls, but that's what happened. Anyway, so... <sighs> I like muffins fresh out of the oven. I like them warm. So, okay, you're gonna see me going in here, grabbing them with my hands because like I'm an OG. Okay, like I can handle the heat. Fingertips on chef mode, you hear me? And yeah, I'm just plating them, thinking I'm plating them cute and I'm not. There was one additional that is gonna be the tester. I stepped on the plate. My tester is so sweet. He told me they taste delicious and I'll let y'all see that here. And they were delicious. They were just a little on the thick end. And you know how I know my tester was so so sweet because he ain't eating no more scent. Talking about, yeah, they good, babe. But you didn't grab no more the next thing. But I appreciate you for my feelings. He was like, no, they were good, especially for your first time. So when anybody tells you something is good for your first time, that means it was good, but it could be better. And I agree. Like, I even felt like they could be better. So, we got some left. And I didn't get to show y'all up close, but like, yeah, muffin. And I wish, I wish it was fluffier. But you see how my blueberries are like on the top, on the bottom, in the middle? Ah, yeah, I just wish they were fluffier on the inside. And again, I think that's because of my sifting. And it could have also been because I used almond milk instead of regular milk. But they're very cakey, almost like, like I want to say pound cake. And this is a muffin. This isn't cake. I will eat the rest of the muffins with my coffee because I am. I'm the only coffee drinker in this house. Anyways, told y'all what I feel like I succeeded on. I told y'all where I feel like I failed on. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all been doing during your time at home. If you have been spending more time at home. If there are any old habits that you've picked up or any old loves or hobbies that you stopped doing for whatever reason and this year they just revving up. They're just flourishing back up. I will make these again. I appreciate the creator of this recipe, the individual who made the recipe and shared the video to show people like me how to make our own blueberries from scratch and i hope this video was inspiring for you to do something that you haven't done in a while that you know you used to like you know what i'm saying that you used to like doing but you know life like we get busy even if you do it on the weekend or you're on your day off just try and pick up a hobby that you haven't done in years when i say i haven't baked in years from scratch years and it just truly makes me happy i don't even put any thought into it when I do it and that's a good stress reliever. When you are doing something stressful, like where you're like thinking about wanting to do this, this, and this, this, this next, but you don't feel that stress, just feel good doing it. Time just passes like it's nothing. Those are the hobbies that you want. That is the, the way we want time to pass. We want to enjoy what we're doing, learn through it, grow through it, enjoy it. And I am happy that I made these cakey blueberry. Okay, thank you for stopping by and I'll see y'all next time.